I'm in Africa, okay? Place called Morogoro. Look what I'm seeing here, man. Huge mangoes. And look how short the tree is. The tree is this short, like literally. Look, just right here. Wow. Wow. I'm taller than the tree, actually. But look at the mangoes. Welcome to Africa. Wow, look at this man. These are mangoes, fresh, fresh mangoes. You can see them down here from the tree. And this is the tree producing these mangoes. And nobody's eating them, man. Fresh, fresh mangoes. Super fresh, look. Look. Fresh, fresh mangoes, you know? So there's plenty of food. Look down here, too many mangoes everywhere. And nobody's eating them. Nobody. Like, Literally nobody, look, even this side here. Too many mangoes, you see? Everywhere, 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 everywhere. You can see even here now, they are, they are spoiling. You see, this guy keeps them here. They are spoiling right here, as you see, you see? Yeah. So the thing is, there's more plenty of food in Africa, in the borders of Africa. More than enough, like really more than enough. So we are still in Morogoro here, we are showing you around. We want to show you the beautiful Africa, the green Africa that you've not seen. And also beautiful mansions here. Lots of beautiful mount mansions and lots of mangoes everywhere we are going. Huge trees here and mangoes everywhere, you see? Oh, kuna maembe mengi sana, baby. Maembe maembe. Oh. So it's the embe is mango, so it's telling me people love mangoes here and they are like the main fruits here. And look at the mountain here, you can even see the smoke. So we, walk, we are walking around uh, this place because it's very close to the, to the mountain. And uh, I'm just discovering like this mountain is very significant because it supplies the water to the entire city or town. And also I want to show you how Africa is green, you see, it's very, very green. So it's always kind of calm, I'll call it, when you see people say, it's so, look man, the grass, very, very green, you see, super green. Yeah, so, and it's healthy. People are planting here all types of fruits, you can imagine, these are mangoes. See other big mangoes right there. That's a big mango, a mango tree, you see. And we just passed these trees right behind us here. All fruits, 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 fruits. Yeah, and you see people farm here, it's very healthy. So, Africa has a lot to offer, and more than enough to offer, actually. And uh, I always feel like the concept of people saying Africa is a desert and dust. No, it's just like this. I only think the only thing Africa needs to do is to put like roads, you know, roads to every corner. Yeah, but apart from that, everything else is great. It's super great. And life is so chill and cheap. You see, very beautiful sceneries. Cassavas. We are crashing at this place. It's called Nguzo Campsite Lodge. This is their website and number. So maybe you can call them. But I wanna take you to that place we see what you can see. This is the river down here. See? Yes. My friend is going to going to wash his mango, you see? So he's washing his mango and he'll be eating it. That's how it is here. Please. Maka kuzuri bana. Ana mecha. So we came to this beautiful, beautiful place. My friend brought me here. You know, I met him as a border border guy, the guy who rides a motorbike, but he turns out to be now my tour guide and he's giving me more stories about this place. We're gonna be eating some fish here and this, and we're having some ugali. And uh, all this for, I think, $15. And this place is very exclusive. Like, 
you know, super exclusive the way you see it. Let me wash my hands and enjoy the meal. Yeah, you see how green it is? Very green. And the mountains, man. There's fresh air here, super fresh air. You see the trees moving around. It's all fresh, fresh, fresh air. And I like the fact that, um, that they have really big trees. You see like this tree, very big, and they preserve it. Even if they were constructing the road around here, they still left the trees, you see? And that's a very good, a very good sign. Whoa. Yeah. The bridge. No, my son. Those mountains. To make Caribbean sun. See? Oh man, look where we are going. A tea waterfall in the Jitaj. Tea waterfall to Najaribu Kwanda in the Jitaj. Waterfalls. Eh, you're to Nanda. Gina Lak. Do you want to eat? Waterfall too. So let's go there, man. So we tried getting motorbikes and they said no, they can't come here. And actually the way we are walking, I can feel my ear bar saying, you know, top of the mountain. Wow. See here people leave. <laughs> Poor. Ah. So look where we are, man. This is the beautiful Tanzania. I love. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I didn't come with my drone so you can see. But that's how it is. Let's keep going. Look where we are coming from. Turn the tubana. Pole pole. Pole pole means just slow. Slow slow. Yeah, you know, just taking things step by step. Pole pole. Yeah. Hey, see this guy? Living lives there. The kid. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. So this place reminds me of Jamaica. Jamaica kuna kaa hivi unajua? Kama hivi. Hivi 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 Jamaica ina kaa hivi. Okay. Yeah, this reminds me of Jamaica. But again, those mountains right there, they totally remind me of uh, Cape Town, South Africa. Yeah, Cape Town. These beautiful mountains with some, uh, like, uh, I don't know how to call it, snow, snow, fog. Yeah, with some fog. Imagine living here next to the mountain. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get their water here from the mountains, fresh from the from the rivers, and you see right there. Uh, see? Ah. Ah. You can see. Yeah. About this end, you man. Razima, the Maraba. See, they are getting their waters from here. Ah. Ah. So that's how you get water in Africa here, man. In the villages next to the mountains. They look like Jamaica. Yeah. The stone is just breathing water. See? See the stone. The stone here is breathing water like water, water, water. Out of its nostrils. And, huh? God is great, man. Magic. Yeah, you see this? This is real pure, untouched, kind of untouched Africa, you know. The pure. See how people live right down there? Yeah, somebody lives right there. These are the roads here. When people walk every day in these roads. So that means you can't be sick, man. You can't feel like you're weak or sick. We are going up in the mountains. We are eating the mountain up. Oh, that's Morogoro right there. Uh, uh -huh. Whoa, that's Morogoro right there. Yeah, I told you it reminds me of Cape Town. See, Cape Town looks like that. 
Cape Town pia kuna katu hivi hivi tu. Hivi venye unavyo vya. Eh. Hello. Is the kid saying hello there? Ah. Yo, what a fall, but you can have fruits here. You see? You can have fruits, another one. It's right. You know? Like you can have some fruits. As you walk in the road here. That's Africa for you, man. Fruits everywhere, you see? Fruits everywhere. Matunda class here. Avocados, you see? Oh, India Masheri Sheri. I don't know how you call this. Oh. Oh. Sherry Sherry, that's how they call it in Swahili. I don't know the name in English. And also remember bananas that here. There are fruits everywhere here. Yeah. Actually, people are selling lots of fruits on the road. Mm -hmm. See? I'm eating fruits on the roadside now. I'm full. Ah, oh, man, no. It's super fresh. More fruits everywhere. So these are wild fruits, they are everywhere. Yeah, see? Nature. See flowers. This is red. Like this, I can eat it. See this? Super red. Still have another one there. They are actually everywhere. See? Everywhere. Look. These are fresh fruits. Fresh. See, Africa offers a lot, man. Look, man, fresh. Mm -hmm. wow. We're about, man. So people come with motorbikes here, you know. This fruit gives you more blood. This one. See? Look how it is. See? It's blood. Like, not blood, but it gives you more blood. It's like strawberry, but it's a. Not only tunda here. Okay. It's a bibu. It's a bibu. Strawberry. <laughs> wow, look at that. <coughs> wow, man. Africa. Come and live here, you know? Come on, just tent around here and leave. Uh, yeah. We've just asked you. Ah. Look at that, that's Morogoro. And we are on top of the mountains here now. It's as, as huge as you see it. Everywhere now you're surrounded by mountains. Even just going, that's a river flowing down there. Wow. We can feel the waterfall actually. At first I thought it was that one, there's one right there. See there? But I think I can feel it like really. Okay? So we are going there. Oh. There it went, huh? Last my way here, huh? I'm at my pot. I will leave here. How about you say? How about you? That's good, man. I can't. So we got lost a little bit. We should have gone that way. <laughs> Whoa! You got any kaki chaka chaka? Hey, you want to ski? Yeah. We are going there. Hmm? No joke. Extreme traveler. 
The good thing is we have fruits. We can be eating on the road as we go. Fruits are everywhere. See? This is the time for my shoes to shine. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, look. Have a pole, pole. No, no, come on. Oh, it's a very big one.
that? We're at yeah. the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.